Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're looking for a fast, secure, and easy to use VPN solution, you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a ShadowSox configuration and use it with the Dark Tunnel VPN app. Whether you're just getting started with VPNs or want to explore how ShadowSox works, this step-by-step -step guide will help you through the entire process. So let's dive right in. First, we need to install the Dark Tunnel VPN app on your Android device. Open the Google Play Store. Type Dark Tunnel into the search bar. Locate the app in the search results and tap Install. It should only take a few moments to download and install. Once it's done, launch the app. You'll be taken to the home screen of Dark Tunnel VPN. Before we do anything in the app, let's first create a ShadowSox server if you don't already have one. To create your own free ShadowSox server, open your browser and type UDP Custom in the search bar. From the search results, tap the link to visit the official UDP Custom website. On the homepage, tap the menu icon, usually three horizontal lines in the top corner. From the menu, select SS Servers. Here you'll find different protocol servers. Look for the ShadowSox section and tap on it. Choose a server location that suits you. Once you've selected the location, tap Create, complete the reCAPTCHA, and hit Generate. In just a few seconds, your ShadowSox server will be created. Copy all the server details. You'll need these in the next step. Now that we've got the server, let's configure Dark Tunnel VPN. Go back to the Dark Tunnel VPN home screen. Tap the three dots at the top right corner to open the menu. Select Tunnel Type. Then choose ShadowSox. You'll now be asked to enter the ShadowSox server information. Fill in Server Address Port Password. Make sure the details are exactly as copied from the UDP custom website. Want to use additional protocols like TCP WebSocket or TLS? Tap the three dots again. Go to ShadowSox Network Settings. From here, you can enable TLS and even add SNI details if required by your network. Once everything is entered correctly, tap the Connect button. Give it a few seconds and you should be successfully connected. You're now browsing securely with your ShadowSox server through Dark Tunnel VPN. And that's it! You've just learned how to create and set up a ShadowSox VPN with Dark Tunnel. Secure, reliable, and perfect for private browsing. If this video helped you out, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out my blog for more in-depth tutorials and stay tuned for more tech content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.